get rid of that inferiority complex. At the end of this audio, you would have been able to double your confidence in all areas of your life. I promise you that. We all experience our own bout of self-doubts and anxiety from time to time. Inferiority is a common feeling we share at some point in our lives. This is a struggle that we all face, especially in our teenage years. Without this feeling of inadequacy, we wouldn't find the desire to better ourselves. Therefore, the feeling of inferiority is essential to personal growth and development. Before we proceed, it is essential to define clearly what is inferiority complex. Inferiority complex is an unrealistic and a false feeling of uh, general inadequacy. Yes, I say general inadequacy. It could be this or that something you have identified or an attitude you yet display that you don't realize it's manifesting out of inferiority complex. But when a higher developed person stays around you, he can tell that this attitude is the cause of the feeling of inferiority. That is why with this audio as you listen and you get to know how or what are the signs of inferiority complex the moment you can recognize this you are halfway to getting rid of inferiority complex now this brings us to the big question how do i know that i have inferiority complex one when you are most comfortable fading into the background, you have an inferiority, uh, an inferiority complex problem. This is also known as the avoidment behavior or the avoidant behavior. You don't just want to be standing out to be seen standing out you always want to be in the background where nobody can identify you you are comfortable always in the crowd <laughs> there is a problem now for instance if you avoid putting yourself out there maybe approaching someone new uh, or in a social gathering you 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 are afraid of should i call it rejection the fear of rejection is one of the reasons why people are simply saying uh, it's better I remain where nobody notices me. But I tell you, if you don't get rid of that attitude by embracing self-development, everyone around you will come to the point where they notice how discomfort you are or you feel with yourself. Number two. Are you very sensitive to criticism? People with inferiority complex are highly sensitive to what others think about them. And they often take up offense even when the, the other person meant no offense towards them. Number three. Do you find fault in others? When you have inferiority complex, you may have a habit of finding faults in others. For instance, when you find another person more successful than you, instead of being happy for, for them, you, you might tend to say words like they are just puffing up or they are trying to be what they are not. Number four, do you bully others? Or have you ever seen someone who bully others? This is a major sign of inferiority. Being a bully is not confidence. 
making others feel less important is a sure sign that you are simply trying to hide your painful inferior feeling about yourself and number five do you only feel good about yourself when you feel you are doing better than others yes it's a human nature to compare yourself to others around you but there are the, the what i call the healthy way and the unhealthy way of handling this if you are handling it the healthy way you are simply then focusing on being better or you are focusing on someone who is better than you because you want to get better but when you have inferiority complex your main focus will be to become better than others then you get into the life of competition when you see someone trying to make others feel weak they are simply trying to cover their inferiority complex number six you don't believe when i say you are beautiful oh you look good wow what a beautiful dress you have you don't believe it when people compliment you when you have self-esteem issues that stems all the way back from childhood it can affect the way you see compliment people with inferiority complex won't be comforted by a positive feedback or even if they are it won't stick for too long seven when you are quick to assume the worst it's a sure sign of inferiority complex i have noticed that the number one red flag that equals an inferiority complex is when someone blows off others for the smallest reasons for instance if a date cancels for a good reason you will not take your time to find out why what happened that the other person didn't show up you will refuse to set up another date because you would quickly assume that you are probably not attracted to that person or that person is not attracted towards you people who give up easily are typically those with an inferiority complex they usually expect negative results with anyone they meet and number eight when you claim rights at everything and refuse to admit your wrongs <laughs> what is that you just said it at the end of the day everyone has strengths and weaknesses there is no reason why anyone should feel like they are less than anyone else here is the secret of managing self-esteem issues and always performing at your best wherever you find yourself see once you catch this secret i promise you this is the reason why you have been listening to me firstly simply understand this fact you are not better than anyone but you are better than everyone because you are unique and dynamic in your own way and no one i repeat no one before now and after you can ever be like you you are special and secondly simply understand the fact that at some point everyone is trying to be so conscious to act better in front of others here is the secret 
They are always thinking, How am I doing? And that also is going on in your own head. Self consciousness. That is the major reason why you have ever felt inferior. How am I doing? You want to present yourself better. You want to be good at everything you're doing and you are just trying to compel yourself to do well in front of everyone. So you are always conscious, how am I doing? And this immediately gives you a sense of limitation. You no longer become free. You no longer become your own self. And if you're not careful, you start acting out like someone else. So you would rather from today focus on what others are thinking about themselves. Did you get that? Start thinking about what others are thinking about themselves. Whether you are performing on stage, or whether in a conversation, or whether in an interview, wherever you might find yourself, the shift of your focus from yourself to the other person, whether superior to you or subordinate to you, once you can shift your focus from yourself to the other person's thought about him or herself, guess what? You will automatically boost your self-confidence before anybody. And you will begin to enjoy a high sense of freedom. Join UN Richard's mentorship program and live a happy life. For counseling, call 081 681 0925.